the piece is the most kinetically sort of crazy, charged, wild thing I think I've ever done. And it's so insane and terrifying, potentially. But, you know, like, it's the, the very sort of simple things of actually, actually all we're doing is sort of existing on this planet and clinging onto one another. You know, sort of like, you know, trying to sort of like love one another and be with one another and trying to be sort of happy and trying to sort of exist and carry on. And I think it's sort of that very sort of fundamental thing, you know, like of going, we're all sitting in a room and the ability, the, the abilities that we have, but ultimately, you know, that we're sort of, that we're tied to people and our friends and our sort of, you know, if we're lucky, you know, our, our partners or whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of a really, really sort of fundamental thing of just feeling like, oh, that you need the people around you. And sometimes they go, you know, they need to go. And, uh. I think it's a, it will be an evening of pure theatre. It won't be about something, it will be something. The thing about End is you always know that it's going to be unique and original because I think maybe that's what separates great writers from lesser writers, that there are, there is no one else like him. And there's nothing else like this play, really. It's quite, it's quite something. Valley Turk sounds like a very Irish name. It sounds like a very Irish place. I think the people in it happen to be Irish at the moment, but it's a play that will be done, I'd say, lots and lots and lots, and as a result, It'll have its own, uh, it'll place itself within the psyche of, of, of whoever's seeing it, wherever they're looking at it, or wherever they're making productions of it. It's pretty mad, it's pretty funny, uh, but you know, what he does is he smashes that comedy up against very deep emotional stuff that sort of can really, it really gets into your gut for, as an audience member, I hope. You know, and that's his great skill, I think, as a writer. When I first read Bally Turk, I thought it was completely unlike anything else I'd ever read, which is always a good sign. And often when you get a new play, sometimes when you get a new play, there's a tone which distinguishes it from all other plays you've ever read. I could say Translations was like that. I could say Someone Who Watch Over Me was like that. I could say uh, Tales of Ballycumber by Sebastian Barry was like that. I could say any number of Sam Shepard's plays. And this had that too. The substance of what Bally Turk is talking about is going to affect anybody. You, you, can't, you won't go uh, as a human being to Bally Turk and not come out of the other side of it going, oh my God. You know, it asks very big questions in a completely bizarre, random, you know, uh, very funny, very serious way. It's very exciting. I mean, that's the beauty of theatre, isn't it? It's so absurd, really, and so, you know, dangerous and fragile, like making something and making something in four weeks and putting it before an audience and, uh, and, and the sort of suspension of disbelief and the live aspect of it. I love it. It's, there's nothing like it, that, that, that rush you get from it, hopefully, that the audience gets also. It's like a great big love affair, like, like a, between the characters. I mean, it's sort of like you think, oh, yeah, Tell a love story, potentially. Have I ever been to Bally Turk? I, yeah, I think, it, God, that's, we've all been to Bally Turk. <laughs> yeah. If we sort of capture anything in this sort of piece, of course, I think people will be going, what is that? Like, kinetically, what is that? And what, oh my God, and, you know, and, and, and trying to sort of decipher it. And yet the heart of it is incredibly, incredibly simple. And it is that sort of thing of like, just watching that very innocent relationship being put under huge pressure when it realises that there's death in the room. I have a feeling we're all living in Bally Turk, whether we like it or not. <laughs>